Oh, how I became the Dolls Curator. It's a long story, but I'll try and keep it short. Um, I have a BFA in art and was always the art kid growing up and then had some terrible experiences at the end of art school that kind of broke me and I just ignored art for years and years, became a designer and did that and a few years ago, six years ago, actually I decided that it was time to get back into art and I just found so many artists that I loved and not in a good way. I became so jealous of everybody that, you know, had quote unquote made it and I hadn't and so much beautiful work out there. And so I decided to say it out loud and turn that toxic jealousy into admiration and it actually worked. And so that's where the Gels Curator began. So the Gels Curator has been around for six years, but about two years before I started it, I had actually done The Artist's Way um, because I was so blocked and so sad and could not find my way back into art. And so I did The Artist's Way and um, the jealousy map in it was life changing for me and is actually where the Gels Curator idea came from. If I'm trying to think of the definition of humility when it comes to creativity, it really feels like two things to me. It doesn't feel like one thing. One feels like you could be humble yet confident and the other is humble to a fault where you don't even allow yourself to do the work because you're stopping yourself before you start. Yeah, I think in the middle of a creative block I think that you're probably as humble as you're gonna get. Um, creativity has taken over at that point and it's kind of the boss and um, finding your way out of that it takes a lot of confidence actually to find your way out of a block and know that you have it in you and not let the bad humility take over and stop you where you are. I used to think that there was no way out of a creative block. It felt like that a lot of times, but it turns out that there are. There are lots of tips and tricks and different ways of thinking to get yourself out of that moment and moving forward. And so um, I'll be sharing some of those tips and tricks in my talk. The great thing about humility is if you look at it like humble pie, um, the idea of the crust being that area that you don't want to go and the sweet spot being the really good place that you do want to go. And the other great thing is they give you pie to eat when you talk about humble pie. Uh, mm, it's really good. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the third <laughs> with a mouthful of pie.